everyone. Welcome back to Learning with Leah. I'm so glad that you could join me again today. Make sure you hit subscribe if you have not already so you can continue to see videos from me. All right, so today we are talking all about has, have, and had. This is very difficult for non-native English speakers and also native English speakers. This can be very difficult. So today I'm going to talk all about how to use have, had, and has correctly. So let's get started. Now, the first thing you need to remember that helps understand this verb is that it can have two purposes. It can be a main verb or it can be a helping verb. That is very important because depending on how we use it, it's going to look different in each sentence. So that's important to know first. So first we're going to start with the main verb. When using it as a main verb, there are three ways we can use has, have, and had. We can use it if we are talking about possession, something that we, we have on our own, something that is ours. For example, um, I have a car. The car is mine. It is my possession. I have a car. You have a bicycle. She has a ring. Um, they have a house. Anything that is your possession, we can use this verb for. It's a possession. Okay? It's, it's something that is yours. Okay, So that is the first example, probably the most um, the most significant or important. Okay, the next example is a feeling. Um, you might say, I have a feeling. Maybe it's not a possession. Maybe it's not something physical, but it's something emotional that you have. Um, I have a feeling. You might, you might say, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that something is not right. I have a really um, happy feeling, a really good feeling about this, for example. So it can be emotional as well as physical. And number three, um, you can have a job or a habit. So um, I could say, I have an ESL job. I have an ESL job. I have a job in Ohio um, as an ESL coordinator, for example. So I can, I can have a job or you can have a habit, something that you do a lot. Maybe it's a bad habit, like maybe you, um, maybe you like to bite your nails. That's a bad habit. You can say, I have a bad habit of biting my nails. Or you can say, it could be a positive habit or routine. You can say, I have a routine that I work out three days a week, for example. Okay, So we can talk, we can use the main verb of have, using it for possession, for feeling, or for our job or habit. Now what's important to remember is that have is an irregular verb. So what's that mean? That means that it does not conjugate or change um, the same as, an, as a regular verb. So when we use the third person singular, so, um, oh, so he, she, or it. So if I'm using a name like Mario or, um, Julia, for example, or he or she or it. Instead of using have, we use has. Has. Okay, that is where we will use has with our main verb. So in our present tense, you are either going to use have or has in present tense. Okay, have or has in present tense. Now, when we move to past tense, that is again where we see that is an irregular verb. Okay, in past tense, regular verbs add an ed, but we cannot add an ed to have, so it becomes had. Past tense becomes 
had. So for example, I had a car last year, but I sold it. Okay, so I had a car. I had, um, I had a, a suitcase, but I gave it to my friend. Um, I had a feeling yesterday that, um, that it was going to rain, for example. I had a job, but I quit. Okay, so you can use had to talk about the past tense of things. Okay, so for the main verb, again, um, we will use has or have when talking in the present tense about possession, feeling, or job or habit. Then we will also um, use had when we are talking about the past tense. So that is how we use the main verb with have, has, and had. That's the easier part. So for the a little more difficult part, we're going to talk about now the helping verb. So has, have, and had. Have is a helping verb. So this is a little more tricky. So a helping verb, or sometimes we call it an auxiliary verb, auxiliary verb. So this means that it is not the main verb. It's not the main verb, but it is helping another verb in the sentence. So we use have as a helping verb in all of our perfect tenses. So any time that we use a perfect tense, we have to use the have um, verb. So what that means is, again, it is not the main verb, but it helps the main verb in the sentence. So these are the six tenses where you will use have in um, as a helping verb in the perfect tenses. So let's go over these. So the present perfect tense, we're going to use um, have in here with our present perfect tense. Um, let me give you an example. Um, I have cleaned. I have cleaned today. I have cleaned today. Uh, the present perfect continuous tense would be, I have been cleaning today. I have been cleaning today. Okay, something that you were continuing to do. So I have cleaned today, I have been cleaning today. As you can see, we use have um, as a helping verb. Cleaned is our main verb. Clean, cleaning here is our main verb. And then have is just to help. It helps the main verb um, in explaining what we're talking about. Also, it have is where it have will be the verb that takes the negative. Um, so if I wanted to make this sentence a negative, have will be the verb that takes that negative. For example, I would say I haven't cleaned today. The have, you, you contract the have when you want to make it negative. So the past, past perfect tense um, would be, I had cleaned yesterday. So it is the same, but instead of it being about today in present tense, we're talking about the past tense. I, have, I had cleaned yesterday, it's in the past. Um, I had been cleaning. I've been cleaning yesterday. Okay. Future perfect tense is the same thing, but we're talking about the future, right? So I will have clean. I will have cleaned by six o'clock, for example. So it's talking about the future again. Now, as you can see here, we have a, another auxiliary verb, but we still have have in there. And then the last one, I will have been cleaning, I will have been cleaning. Been cleaning. All right, so as you can see, we have all of the perfect tenses, and in all of the perfect tenses, have is a helping verb. So you can see um, it is used differently depending on the kind of tense you're talking about. 
Sometimes it's have, sometimes it's going to be had because it's past tense. Um, so it depends on what form that we're using. So it's important to remember that there is a difference between the main verb and using have as the main verb and using have as the helping verb. All right, so I hope that this helps. This is a kind of a confusing topic. So please let me know if you have any questions or um, any comments, please make sure you comment below so that I can help answer those questions for you. Thank you so much for watching everyone. See you next time.